Man, that was brutal, you guys. I literally waited in for probably 35, 40 minutes. That's not too brutal, but like stop and go inching along traffic uh, for like two miles. It took me like 35, 40 minutes. So that's kind of brutal actually. But I turned off onto this here glorious trail. Um, it's the Hurricane Creek Trail. My intentions are not really, although I don't want to go back out, out into that traffic, but my intentions are not really to um, drive this thing through. I may, just because I don't want to go back out in that traffic. My, my intentions are literally just to go out here and let the dogs run around. That's all I, I mean, I go up here to this first creek crossing. It's about a mile in, mile and a half in. And uh, that's just it. I, I, I mean, I've done the trail a couple times, um, but it's, you know, I don't need to go that way. Um, I, I just stop in and let the dogs out. If you've never done Hurricane, Hurricane Creek, I mean, this is, a, this is awesome. a conclusion about the Jeep Cherokee you know when I was, I've had a bunch of these but when I was younger I never really thought about things like I do now this is an excellent vehicle I'm not gonna there's not gonna but you know if you're gonna do this if you're going to buy a vehicle to drive around the country and drive on off-road trails I'm sorry this is not it this is not the greatest option now, is this a good mix of um, all around, you know, yeah, sure. Um, it does great off-road. The gas mileage is not like just stupid, um, awful. It, you know, they do, in, in stock form, they do pretty well. Gear them up, they, they don't do bad, you know. Uh, I think I rub right here a little bit, but, but, the point is, oh, shit. Yeah. yeah, that's what I was thinking. There, grab a little. Uh, the point is this, um, you know, for extended miles off-road, this things, these things. I knew this would happen. These things start creaking and popping and banging and making all kinds of noise, and they're just. They're not the most, it, you know, there's better options. So I've been driving as much of this as a, well, I haven't put it in four wheel drive yet. I'm driving as much of this in two wheel drive as I can. And uh, I'm just curious to see, um, I got a feeling I know where we're, sorry. I got a feeling I know where we're gonna get stopped. And that is coming up. If you know this trail, you know it's coming up. Oh yeah. I did forget about this. I don't know if I'm making this you guys might be turning around sooner than I thought Gonna consider this a formidable obstacle.
that. In fact, it wasn't bad at all. A little squealing, but it's just because it's slick. I probably got to come back down this here shortly. Like I said, I, I really wasn't going to go all the way through. I didn't have a plan to at least. Well, here it is. The infamous rut section. It, it's a cakewalk, you guys. The rut section is a cakewalk. Look at this. That doesn't even seem right. Uh, yeah, you talk about muddy. So now there's only one other spot that I am even remotely concerned about, and that is on the far far end about 80 percent of the way through and uh it's just a rock that you kind of have to stay to the right if i remember uh kind of an exposed smooth rock i always thought this was cool there's the bus you guys now what it looks like is people have been four-wheeling yeah right through there there's some pretty substantial ruts all through here. Rover, and there they go on across the way. There's a little tiny, forgive the guy that's shooting the guns. Sweet. Check out the vintage beauty. Yeah. Dude, that thing is righteous. Man. Super cool. Here comes another Jeeper. Yeah. I like the light bar across the top. Happy New Year, man. Just the two of you guys. We're jumping in behind you. 
Georgia. Oh, Georgia. This thing sounds bad, it smells bad. Like, oh yeah, we cut the roof. We got us a deep fest here. With two rovers. And one super sweet, locked up, grand up there. Probably sitting on 35s, 36s. That thing's cool. You want me to show him how to do it? Hey, hold up. Will he get? Is he going to get mad? Now he's trying to scare me. <laughs> Y'all have a good one. Looks like a lot of precautionary measures being taken. Wow. We better see what's happening here because we're a little flexed out. We gotta go this way. So that needs to. I think I need to come over a little ways. Oh. Well, that's not helping. Let me build myself a, a runway.
tire came up off the ground. Yeah, man. You guys be good. but I've thoroughly enjoyed this trail and uh, the truth is it's just great with other people you know again I'm not I wouldn't be beating on my stuff like by myself well, I am by myself but I've been riding with those guys and uh, it's been it's been good anyway this is that's we're about up. I remember from here it's just like graded road and there's a turn off somewhere that you can go on some little rubber stuff but we're out of here so I'll catch you on the flip side. Well I, I did I thought I was done but there's like another half mile section and um, I got turned around so when you get towards the top you you can miss this real easy this exit and it takes you if you keep going it takes you on a rougher though it gets pretty rough you're climbing pretty gnarly ledges i didn't film me in that but it was pretty pretty rough so when i get up here i'm gonna lick some wounds and, and uh we'll get on down the road probably been 45 minutes maybe an hour and I I'm not going super like 20 but um, 20 miles an hour so I've probably done that 15 18 miles at least of gravel um, I've seen two side-by-sides that's it oh there was a some kind of minivan of some kind I can't remember what it was but yeah, that's it yeah I'm not mad this road goes to hot springs so I jumped on off of interstate 40 and got on hurricane creek trail when I took it all the way to the end I took a left and I've just been driving straight just keep going straight and I'm going to hot springs it's working out so far there's a route so found the back road well I've been on a back road but this particular road is called whoa wolf, it goes to Wolf Creek Falls <coughs> which should be right up here I'm, I'm on my way still to um, Hot Springs, which, you know, I, if I find something more, like amazing, I may just stay here, which this is awesome. Dang, a little rough there. Yeah. How about that? That's a nice one. So I was able to drive all the way back here. There is actually a um, a campsite here that is pretty well camped out. Um, looks terrible. <laughs> oh man, what a great place. So they have, I mean, this they don't call it that for the fun of it, but they actually have a hot springs here. And I went like 20 years ago. And if I remember correctly, I was disappointed because 
they just pointed us towards a hot tub of which water was piped into so it was really just like filled up with a hot spring I don't know but uh, this is the town man you talk about an absolute <clears throat> beautiful Victorian home here this the bell historic inn is awesome 